Box number one. Box number two. And last but not least, the big one. Box number three. What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. As you just saw, We've got some packages from the good friends over at Fabulous. Always hooking it up. Thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate the constant support for the Savoy, for Miley, and now the Pink Floyd. So thank you guys so much. Links down below. Make sure you guys check them out. But what we have in these boxes here is going to allow us to put the Mark IV 18 t directly into the Mark III as if it came factory. Let me show you. So as you can see, we have a whole bunch of super nice pieces. Again, thank you Fabulous for hooking it up. I greatly appreciate it, but let's talk about what we got here. So this piece, this mount, and this mount is part of Fabulous's 1.8 T conversion kit to a Mark III. So this is your front cross support there with the mount for the 1.8 T. You have your trans mount that goes to the O2J, and you have the rear mount that mounts up Mark III style to the subframe. So this one, that one, bolt up the subframe. This one bolts to the front of the block by the trans. And this puts the entire 1.8T into the Mark III exactly like factory. You guys saw with the Savoy, putting the VR5 into that car with the same fabulous kit. Um, put the engine in the car perfectly. Everything was exactly where it's supposed to be. The mounts lined up perfectly. The axles lined up perfectly. Everything was good to go. So I have no doubt this same kit from Fabulous will put the 1.8T into the Mark III perfectly with no issues. So that is that. So again, cross member, uh, the trans mount and the range mount here. So all three of those are the 1.8T swap kit that they sell. Now over to this piece, this is the Mark 7 gas pellet adapter, the exact same one I put on the Savoy, because now with the 1.8T, the car will be drive by wire versus having the cable throttle body, so swap into the Mark 7 gas pedal, which will have the connector on it, so we'll use this. And then over here, we have the hydraulic clutch conversion kit from Fabulous as well. So this takes our car from having a cable clutch to now the hydraulic clutch, which we'll need for the O2J. So we have our slave cylinder here, we have the clutch line, we have the line that goes from the reservoir down to the slave cylinder itself, and we have the bracket that goes on the firewall, uh, the brace to clutch pedal. So this entire kit is gonna allow us to put the 1AT directly into the Mark III. We're gonna have a gas pedal, we're gonna have a clutch, everything's gonna work and be good to go. So again, thank you Fabulous. Super hyped on this kit. And again, I've used all this stuff before from Fabulous. You guys saw how nice it worked in the Savoy. We got it on Miley as well. So I'm super hyped to be using this stuff again. Now, one thing I will say we have to figure out, and it's nothing to do with the actual kit itself. It's the piping that I want to use. I want to use a factory charge pipe that goes off the turbo down to the passenger side. Where this mount here bolts up to the back of the block, the charge pipe goes like right here. Because in the Mark IV, the mount's on the side and nothing in the back, so we can go straight through here. We're gonna have to see where that pipe actually comes down, whether we can go underneath here or cut it and go over this or maybe it fits together i don't think it will but maybe we'll get lucky we'll have to see but yeah this is it all this stuff is super awesome again thank you fabulous everything on the table here will be linked down below looking for swap kits for the vr5 vr6 1at they've got stuff for pretty much everything complete kits down to axles all that kind of stuff so make sure you guys check them out um, they've always treated me super super nice and i've loved working with them so everything you see here will be linked down below and now we are one step closer to that first 1.8t startup in the pink floyd i think my radiator coolant reservoir and one other thing showed up today which is awesome uh, we're very very close to putting the engine in the car like i said i gotta figure out the charge pipe on this side to clear the mount um but after that i mean have the trans have the clutch it's pretty much ready to go in the car so uh, we're close. We're really close. So the plan now, gonna head home and do some test fitting with this rear mount and see how that works out. And if I'm feeling super motivated, maybe we'll toss in the gas pedal adapter and uh, and this. We'll see. It's cold. I'm not stoked to be back in Germany. The weather just bums me out. I want to see the sun. But if I'm feeling motivated, maybe we'll get some uh, some things done today. Oh yeah.
look at this fancy thing so i did put a few more pieces on this before we left for florida which honestly was just this vacuum line and this one here which honestly i don't know how i feel about the blue it's kind of cool because the green and the blue match the pink floyd colors which i'll show you over here if you haven't seen got some blue got some green and honestly matches that blue perfectly i was thinking of doing black but i don't know the blue is kind of cool and with the engine cover you don't really see it but it's a little touch and it kind of just matches the whole theme of the car so i think i'll keep it this one goes down to here and that one goes up to there so that's all done for the most part the engine itself is done and good to go i toss on this one that goes down to the intercooler that wraps around to that one but the piece in question is this pipe over here because the mount has to go right here i'm not sure how low or high probably like right where i need to go so more than likely we need to like cut somewhere up here make a little like s curve over and down but then again i don't know how much room we have between like this side and the frame rail right here Probably what I'll do is I'll put the engine in the car with this pipe complete off, see where we're at, and we can mock up how we get around it, either under or over, and make it fit to the intercooler in the side and down through. Also, speaking of intercoolers, I talked to my buddy Ed. He has the Black Mark III, the Mark III squad. Um, he has the Audi 225 horsepower 1.8T swapped into his car, and he's still running the factory side mount intercooler on this side. Now, I don't know if the factory Audi TT side mount is better than this side mount it had, but his car is running. I think he said close to 300 wheel. Um, he beats the crap at his car, and he's never had an issue at all with the side mount. So I think I'm gonna go back to that again and try and run the side mount with this engine setup. Maybe later I'll go to a front mount if we do like a bigger turbo. Um, but he said he drives the living crap out of his car, rips it all the time, and there's never been a cooling issue. And again, I don't know if the Audi TT side mount, he's only running one. He's not running dual side mounts, just the one on this side. So I'm pretty sure it's the exact same size as one I have over here. Um, but he said he's had no cooling issues. Everything's been good to go. Would there be more cooling with the bigger front mount? Of course, but if I can have this car and beat it, no problem, and use the factory side mount and make it all work, that'd be dope. So I'm leaning back towards that route. We'll see what happens. But um, it was good to talk to him about this car because he said it works no problem, no issues. So I think I might try and do that again. So I've showed this 100 million times, but that's where the factory side mount sits in a Mark III. It fits for the most part. I do think if I keep it there, I'll go through and maybe clear the side out and cut these vents and actually have a better flow to the intercooler. But if it works for his car with more power and he drives it all the time, I think with this car running less power, less boost, I think we'll be okay. And then we have the new speed pipe here, which will go, I wanna say this way, like that from there to about there, which is gonna meet up to this one. But again, like I said, with the mount, which I'm gonna pull on just a second, we need to test fail to pull this entire thing off, put the mount on and see exactly where everything is gonna be, what's gonna hit, what's gonna work. I don't think we'll get away with it. It'd be cool if we would, but we'll need some modification somewhere in here, I'm sure. So before I go ahead and pull all of this off, we have our mount here. You can see we have two mounting spots on top and then two down at the bottom. Now, looking at it, you can see one's gonna go to that bolt hole, one's gonna go up to there, and then one here and one there. But this actually kind of cuts down much lower than I thought it would. So if you look, we're honestly not too crazy far off. I thought we had to cut like way up here, but it looks like we can get away maybe cutting right here and it's still like a silicone pipe and kind of bring it over just a little bit and dropping it down because like I said, we're not too far off. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this entire one off and then uh, see where it sits. It might, with this one gone, it might actually fit all the way. And then like I said, maybe just need a little bit of a cut right here, do a little silicone 90 this way, drop it down. We might be in the clear. All right, so this has got me super excited. So with this one not off and out of the way, our mount could completely bolt up, no problem. You can see it lines up just fine, good to go. Now, of course, we couldn't put anything on here because it's too close, but the mount itself would completely fit, no problem. So like I said before, if we get a little cut like right here, you may just cut it flat like this and do a little S curve, we could drop it down, still meet up with this one and go under the frame rail with this, right at the intercooler and I think we'd be good to go. Like I said, I was thinking we had to cut way up here and do like a bunch of like welding and stuff, but honestly, with the mount fitting the way it does, I, this is way smaller and lower. I love how it cuts down like this, which is super nice, but that'll bolt up like that. Do a little, little chop there, little S off it, drop it down to this. 
shoot, I think we are going to be good. And like I said, I want to run the side mount or I just want to run the factory. I want this to stay like this and I want it on this side. My goal is always about with the car. When you look in the engine bay, I just want to see one dump down here, a little bit of the charge pipe in the back. But for the most part, I don't really want to see anything in the engine bay. That's just how I've always wanted it. I've always envisioned the engine being in this car. So if I can make that happen, that's definitely the goal. And I think this is going to work. A little chop, a little S-curve, drop it to the new speed pipe over to this and i think we are good to go i think we're good honestly i think that'll work granted making sure there's enough room to go this way over the mountain down and not run into uh this section but i think we'll be okay like i said this pipe should be somewhere give or take like right there and that should be enough clearance hopefully to come up and then over meeting up with this pipe i think we're good i think that's how it's gonna work i said we'll have to put the engine actually in the car do some measurements basically it's all gonna work but in my head chop s curve whatever it is over to this and then mount it all up but i think we'll be good i'll make a little bracket to mount this under here but i don't know it's looking promising boys it's looking promising so things are looking pretty good for the 1.8t as for the engine bay itself there's still a few things i want to do before the engine actually goes in i have the new brake master cylinder that came in today got to swap that in and actually totally forgot we need to paint this because it looks crusty and i don't like that forgot all about that actually i'm pretty sure i'm gonna go ahead and paint match this to the car and have one more green piece in there which I'll try and do this week, hopefully. But yeah, got to pull that out, paint that, swap this, and that'll take care of all of that stuff. We have to get the new Clutch Master cylinder in over there. Uh, I need to get new power steering lines. You can see very crusty down there. Those need to go. I need new control arms, new ball joints, that kind of stuff. New bushing for the power steering rack. And that's pretty much it in here. This amount will go away. That amount will go away. We have the ones on Fabulous, so that's good to go. Um, the new cross mirror for the front section here. I also grabbed a new dual fan rat support, which is this one over here. Now this car, um, it's got the AC compressor on it, but this Pink Floyd did not have AC at all. You can see there is nothing back there. So I don't plan on running AC on this car. I thought about getting the bracket, but it was an afterthought and everything's already together. So I'll just leave it as it is. Not the biggest deal, but this car has a single fan rat support. But I think I'm gonna go through and swap to that one and have the dual fan. That way in case I ever wanna try and make the AC work and have it all plugged which i don't know if i want to do that it like cut a hole and do a bunch of stuff but if i ever do we already have the dual fan rod support and it's good to go so like i said we're doing pretty good got a lot of stuff ready to go just in a few more bits and uh drop this thing oh it's gonna look this thing is gonna look so good in this car i cannot wait for that first startup it's coming soon it's coming very very soon so probably tomorrow we'll go through pull the front end apart put the new radiator in and have that all done and good to go I was thinking about pulling all of that apart, the booster out, the master off, but I'm just not feeling motivated. I'm motivated about this. I'm super hyped on the mount and that situation over there, but like anything under the dash, I just really don't want to do. Stuff to do the wiring, don't want to go into the dash. Stuff to do the pedal, have to do the clutch, and that kind of, everything I have to do is like right over here, and I just hate working under the dash. And it's cold out here, so maybe tomorrow, We'll work on that. But like I said, I'm hyped on the mount. That's going to work nicely. A little chop, S-curve, good to go. The rest of the mounts are all taken care of. And this thing's pretty much completely good to go. Just about everything is on here. I'm not really sure if I'm missing anything else. Probably something small here and there. But for the most part, this thing is like looking complete, ready to go. We're going to pull off the stand very, very soon. Get the roommate seal swapped out, put the clutch on, put the trans on. And then this thing will be waiting to get dropped into here. Not going to lie, I really want this car done. But the... uh motivation to get down up in here just not feeling it so i get the fuse box back in with the new wiring harness all that fun stuff we already swapped in this car's automatic before we already swapped in the pedal so that's already good but gotta get behind it put the new master back in there gotta get to those four bolts way over there and take the brake booster out and then gotta get way up in that side and toss in the gas pedal adapter for the mark 7 pedal that's pretty much it down here. I mean, it's not too much stuff. I just really don't like working on the dash. Ah, tomorrow. We'll do it tomorrow. For sure, 100% tomorrow. I'll get down here. I'll suck it up. We'll get all this stuff knocked out. Uh, clutch done. Get this taken out. Get that painted. Put the pedal in. We'll get it done tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow is the day. I will say, though, every time I look inside this car, just all the blue, the super cool seats, the dash, the radio, all these pieces, 
I'm so excited to cruise this car and I love the blue, like the blue dash, all the blue carpet, just like killer 90 vibes. So like I said, the plan for tomorrow is get in there, pull the booster out, put the new master on, get under the dash, get all stuff sorted and put the new pieces in if, if I can stay motivated. The thing is over here, I'll be honest with you guys, when I wake up in the morning and it's just gray, I really have no care to go outside and do anything because it's just like, it's depressing, honestly. It's just gray and there's no sun. There's really no motivation. When I was in Florida, I just felt ready to go all the time. I was exhausted, but I like the sun was out. I was like, let's do something. I'm ready to go. But I'll be honest with you guys, over here when it's just gray for weeks on end, there's no, it's so hard to have motivation to want to come out here in the cold and work on a car. Like I want this car done so, so bad. We made a lot of progress in the last few weeks, but like, I've had to really push myself like, all right, go film, get outside, make it happen. And no sun just really makes it harder. But tomorrow, going to stay motivated, going to get inside the car, get all that stuff knocked out. And very soon, we're dropping it in the car and we're getting that first 180 startup very, very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.